So when I started out with this project, the whole idea was I was just going to build the Sears Tower, also known as the Willis Tower here in Chicago. But it kind of expanded just a little bit. So I think last I counted, I'm up to 12 buildings so far in the city. And I've gotten three major streets done. And right now I'm currently working on Wacker Drive. So let's head over to the new construction site and see what we'll be constructing today. Alright, so our first property that we're going to be constructing together today is going to be the property at the corner of Monroe and South Wacker. And the building here, let me pull it up, it kind of looks like this. It's a little odd shaped, but not too hard. So we're going to get started with that. So the first thing you want to do when you start out is identify any structural landmarks that might be in the area that you can build off of. And you know, I, I actually have a background in architecture. I mean, it was only two years, but still I have the experience. So I can bring that into the Minecraft world and share that with you. Um, so we're going to start off and we're just going to section off the, let me pull up my bar here. We're going to section off the road. So I usually like to give each building at least three blocks away and then start building onto that. And we're not going to go too far in with this. And now when I'm building my roads, I, us I usually uh, <laughs> give it about seven blocks. So we start off one, two, three, four. Four is where your yellow line will go. And then one, two, three. So. I mean, let me just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there we go. And we're not going to go too far in with this, you know. Just basically laying out the properties of the road so we don't accidentally stray from our foundations. Because the building will be going over here where all this forestry is. Okay. Now you might be wondering, you know, how exactly are you going to build a building around all this crap? I mean, we have dirt, we have gravel, we have sand, we have trees hanging in the air. So what are we going to do? Well, that's a very good question. It just basically boils down to um, plain old demolition. And you have to start off and level your ground, okay? So what you're going to do is just go through. And, you know, it's a daunting task, but what I choose to do is anything that's two blocks or higher or lower, my bad, I go through and I do by hand. Because if you use dynamite in this section, then you're just going to open up a big hole in the ground like that. And it's not going to be fun because then you have to level all that off and it takes more time, I feel. So... Now I'm sure you have some questions as far as the actual city goes, like where I chose to start and everything, and as you can tell, I mean there's a lot of brown around here, and yeah, I chose to start my city in the desert. And there's two reasons for that theory. Um, one was I really hate the precipitation in this game, I really can't stand it, and I can't stand entering the codes to stop it, so I chose to have my weather always clear. And it made for a much better building experience, to say the least. So it's a lot easier to see where your blocks are going and everything, and, you know, it's good. The other reason I chose the desert is I found that the desert has the flattest or close to the flattest range of land that you can get out there. So when I started, I actually had about three buildings worth of flat land, and I just built off that. And then when I started extending, I just started leveling away the ground and you know like this right here this little plot was absolutely no different than say this so yeah it was pretty high I mean it went about five six blocks off the ground and then had a ton of trees and it's just you know putting in the time and effort and leveling it out and doing that And 
And you know, it might take a lot of time. But you do walk away with something that you can impress people with. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and level off the rest of this. The rest of this. And I'll bring it up to, we'll say... Where's our street? There it is. I'll bring it up to right about... Here. I'll put a marker here. And when I come back, all this will be gone and leveled with the city outside. Alright, and we're back. And as you can see, there's our marker over there. It's nice and leveled and ready to start building. So, let's take a look at the building we're working on. As you can see, we have a nice little two-story column kind of looks like a H if you cut it off at the bottom so we're gonna look at the base alright and what I like to do is I like to start at the pillars okay so we'll look at the front of the building and from the corner it looks like there's no actual pillar on the corner so we're gonna start we're, we'll make an imaginary pillar and then we'll go three over and then we'll start our first pillar and we're gonna do that it looks like about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen over. So, hopefully, we have enough room. First of all, I thought I measured this out right, but we'll see. So, start three back and three over, and there's our imaginary block. We'll go back and delete that later. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crap. Okay, so we'll keep going, and I guess we will just go back and finish it. Um, eleven, twelve. Let's see if we can work around this tree. Nah, no, this, this isn't going to work. Alright, so you know what we're going to do? We're actually going to cut it short, and we will just work with what we have. And so instead, we will we'll see how many blocks we have here. We have 11 blocks. So we will... Hmm... Yeah, I think we could do that. Alright, so... This block will be imaginary, but we'll go back and delete that in a second after we count over the other way. And I already took a look at this, and there was about six going that way. So let's see. One, two, three... We're gonna run short here. Four, five... Six. Nope, we're good. Alright. So um, we'll go ahead and count over the other way. One, two, three. One, two, th three. I mean, getting these accurate is the most important thing from the get-go. Because if you start building, let's kill our little marker here. When you start building, you know, you're going to be totally screwed if you, you know, put 500 blocks down and then realize that, hey, these things don't line up. So you want to just kind of do this and check over your lines and make sure everything's going good. Yeah, 
it looks like for the most part it is. You can kind of eye it up. But like I said, you want to make sure that everything is perfect. And don't forget to do the horizontal either because, you know, I, like I already see a problem. So, let's just hope this two over down here. And it's not. So, we can go back and fix it like the way we should. But I really don't want to do that. There's four there. Alright, so it looks now like everything is good. But, you know, I mean, if we didn't check that beforehand, we would have built up our building and then things would have been lining up improperly and we would have to fix it somehow and it would be a real pain in the butt. So, alright. Now, remember what I said about these corners. They're imaginary. So, let's knock them out. One. Two. three four all right now on our picture we have two towers so we got to find out where the center of this building is and we'll build that up first and then we'll build up the two sides to make a frame for the building it looks like it goes about three six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve blocks up in the center so we will start there One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And do it to the other side. And just kind of eye that up and make sure that it looks level. And it does. So, we are good with that. And I mean, you really want to make sure that both sides are properly leveled. Because if they're not, like I said, you will have problems down the line. And it'll just be that much more of a hassle to correct it. So now, our towers will be going up here and over here. And then we'll have a nice little level service right there. So let's look back at our picture. And so we're going to have to go up to 12. And then it looks like about 18 floors or so after that, we'll say. So let's get to it and level up our ends. Now what I'm doing is just counting off the 12 to make the whole thing level. And then we'll go up the 18 extra. If you're wondering, I'm using jungle brick on this. And I just thought that it kind of matches the building that we have here. So... We will do that and see how it turns out. Of course, the only unfortunate thing about this is that you do have those ugly end pieces. So when it flies over, you know, it's not going to look that great. But what can you do? You know, I, I want the color. So. Alright, so we're going to start going up 18. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And that's a big building. Same thing over here. Nine. 
And now when you're getting this tall, it's really increasingly difficult to measure up the correct, you know, because look at this. I mean, depending upon your perspective, the 3D world can kind of stray your view. So you really want to make sure before going any further that this is right. So what I like to do is kind of just make a line over. And I know that this is kind of tedious, but again, you can't be too certain when you're putting this kind of time and effort into a project. And it looks like we're good. So, I'm just going to leave that there for now. I will cut it in the center, just kind of as a note to myself. Like, you know, don't forget, hey, what you're building. Then we'll go ahead and go down here and do the same thing. Bring a line over. And now we have a nice little frame to kind of start out our activities and we know where we're going now. You have to pardon that noise. That is actual construction, not Minecraft construction, outside my window. If you can hear that <laughs> over the tapping of my keyboard. I know it's kind of loud, but you gotta do what you can. That's one thing, like, I would hate to see in Minecraft, is like, the actual noise of construction in the background. That would be, oh my god. Like, can you, can you imagine, like, cranes and, like, worker noises, like if NPCs started making grunts and stuff? Oh my god, that would be awful. Alright, so. Needless to say, that does not look like a building, but it is vital to what we're doing so just roll with it now to make it like level and symmetrical we're gonna look at this and it looks like it goes four over each so we're gonna start at the third block and that's gonna be the end of our tower and we're gonna go up and meet our other sky high tower so with this it's pretty simple you know just follow it up until it stops. I don't even count when it gets to this point because it's like, you know, just eye it up and find out. You know what, before we even start building this other one, let's just go ahead and do the exact same thing over here. Bring out a nice line so we can meet up with it. And that worked out splendidly. So there you go. There is the frame for our outer tower and I'm going to do the same thing over here and I'll catch you back in a second and with that we have our frame the sun's going down here in Minecraft Chicago we have a nice little frame for our building and I think I'm gonna hit the hay and we will catch you back in this next video and start finishing up the exterior walls and start working on the actual building properties making it look more like that thing right there.